In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make an API call to the Cocktails DB open source API. We'll be using React hooks like use state and use effect, but mostly use effect since it allows us to perform side effects inside of functional components. Side effect could be data fetching or making manual changes to the DOM, but mostly it tells a component to perform something once it's rendered. Let's get started. Okay, so I created this folder with um, create react app. We have our app.js index.js and that's pretty much all we need for this project. So we will move into app.js and initially we will import our hooks use state and use effect. We'll set our state and we'll name it cocktails. And initially we'll set it just to an empty array. We will then use our use effect. Inside of our use effect, we're calling a function. It'll be our fetch. So for that, we need the URL. And I will link the URL in the description. It'll be the cocktaildb.com. We will scroll down and we will look up a random cocktail. So we'll go here. I use JSON Vu um, Chrome extension so you can read um, the data more easily. We'll paste that in. I'll make this smaller so we can have them side by side. Make sure that it is HTTPS, otherwise it won't fetch properly. Get rid of that. Then we will grab our results and we will convert it to JSON data. Then we will grab our data and we will set it in our cocktails state. So the initial data that we grab is an object, but we want it to be an array. So this whole object is data. We want the drinks array. So we'll go dot drinks. Now, because we only want our use effect to run once, we're going to stop it with an empty array there. Okay, now we will return div, and we will map over our cocktails array. We can name it drink, but you can name it whatever you want. And I'm gonna destructure right away. So I'm gonna grab all of the properties that I want from um, the drink object, just so we don't have to write it twice. Instead of writing drink dot ID drink, drink dot string glass, drink dot, we just grab them, destructure, and it's just a little bit cleaner. So let's see what I want. I want string drink, that's the name of the cocktail. I'll get the category as well. Definitely want the image and I'll get the instructions. I'm going to leave the ingredients out just because for time. Instructions and that is going to equal to drink. Okay and we have to return something. Return another div. Let's have the name actually before we do that so it doesn't complain. We need a key, a unique key. So we'll just set it to the ID. And we'll have the drink name here. Maybe an H5 tag. Pretty random, but oh well. And we'll have P tag for instructions. Uh, where do I want my 
we'll have the image here. Almost forgot the image. Like thumbnail. And we'll have just have this be the drink name. Okay. That should work. Let's see. I have it pulled up already. It works. Whoa. Uh, let's change, we'll do some inline styling for the image just to make it a little bit smaller so we can see it on our screen. Let's do 300 pixels. Okay. There we go. Nice. And there you have it. So you can use kind of this, um, fetch method inside of use effect whenever you want to um, make an API call and render things to the page.